transitions can either make or break your edit if not done properly. So in today's video, I'll be walking you guys through five cinematic transitions that you can create using CapCut PC. And guess what? You can create these same transitions using the mobile and online version of CapCut. All right, guys, let's get started. And today's video is sponsored by CapCut. Number one, speed ramping transitions. This is when you speed up the ending part of the first video and then speed up the beginning part of the second clip or the incoming clip. In the timeline are two different videos. First, we need to stabilize the clips. Click on one of them, go to the right side, scroll down and tick stabilize. We're gonna leave it on recommended. Then click on this second video click on stabilize and leave it as recommended. Click on that video, go to the right side, click on speed, then select flash out for this part. And now you have some graphs like this. Click on this very one and tick the minus sign. So we'll take that off. Now drag this one down to the normal speed line and then increase this side to the top. And that's the highest level we can go with CapCut. Now play and check how the speed looks like. So now do the same thing for this second clip. Click on that, go to speed on curve, choose flash in since it's the incoming clip. Just like we did earlier on, click on this one and select the minus and then click on this one and bring it to the normal speed line. Then click on this side and increase it to the highest speed. And now we play and see how it looks like. From here, we can add some motion blur to it. Click on this one, go to video, scroll down take motion blur let's take it to somewhere 70 and blend it in somewhere 50. we'll do the same thing with the first one click on that go to the right side turn on motion blur take it to somewhere 60 and blend it in somewhere 50. so now we have something like this Number two, J and L cut transitions. Some call this sound transitions. The transitions are in the shape of J and L. J cut is when you hear the sound of the video before the video appear on the screen. And L cut is when the sound of a video continues to play whilst the next video shows up. So first, J cut. We have two videos in the timeline. Trim the beginning part of the second video. Then right click on the second video and select extract audio. Stretch the beginning of that audio and place it below the first video. Now you can also fade in the beginning of it so it will transition smoothly to that very sound. And now we have something like this. So you can see it transitions very smoothly to this very video. When you look at it, it's in the J form and that's what they call the J cut transition. And now L cut, this is the opposite of J cut. We have two videos in the timeline. Trim the ending part of the first video, extract the audio, then stretch it and place it under the second video. And then you can fade out the ending part of it. Or also you can use the fade out slider on the right side of the software. And now you have something like this. The audio of the first video will continue to play whilst the second video shows up. And that makes the transition really smooth. Number three, masking transitions. With this transition, it has to be an object or someone walk past the frame. It has to fill the entire screen and cross the screen from the right to the left side or from the left to the right side on the screen. We have two videos in the timeline. In the first video, there is a pillar that crosses the screen and we are going to use that to transition into the next video. And in CapCut, it works pretty easy if the shape of the object is in a straight line or in a rectangle shape. So this is the beginning of that pillar. When we scroll through, when you get here, you can see the ending part of it. Click on that video, go to where the ending part starts to show, go to the right side, click on mask, and click on split. Rotate it to something like this, because that's the shape of the pillar, and drag it to this very side. Let's rotate it to this very side. Now make a keyframe on position and rotate and increase the further a bit. So we soften the edges. Now go two or more frames forward, drag the split screen 
and move the rotate a bit not too much we can use this side to rotate it a bit and automatically it's going to drop a keyframe on this very side follow the same steps till the object disappears on the screen so now we have something like this it's wiped to black now place the second video below the first video and you will have something like this very smooth transition that makes it easy for your audience to watch your edits number four overlays transitions this is one of my favorite transitions and it's the most commonly used transitions you can get some free ones from youtube or pexels.com just drag and drop the overlay on top of the two clips it normally comes with a black background select the part where you want to use 4 to 10 frame selection works pretty fine with this transition and make sure half of it is on this side and half of it is on this very side click on it and go to the right side of the software click on the blend mode drop down menu select screen or you can select any other blend option and now you have this nice and clean transition in your project number five fade out and fade in transitions this makes the transition from the fast paced part of an edit to the slow paced part of an edit very smooth in the timeline it's a fast paced edit part and next to it is a slow paced part and i want to transition to make it easy for my audience to watch click on the last video before the slow part or make a compound clip of all the fast paced parts go to the right side click on animation then click on out and select fade out then increase the duration a bit now go to the left side click on library select black background drag and drop in between these two clips now let's just reduce the length of it now click on the incoming video or the slow part of an edit go to animation and select in this time around then select fade in and increase the duration a bit to your preferred choice now you have something like this it transitions very smooth from the fast paced part to the slow part and that makes it easy for your audience to watch through your edits to try CapCut pc please check the description box below catch you guys on the next one peace